Hello and thank you for coming to my video today guys. Uh, the reason I'm making this video today is because another Daedalus wallet was released for the Shelly testnet. And a lot of people get confused when I say the Shelly testnet. The testnet that paid you actual rewards was called the incentivized testnet. This is the Shelly testnet. This is the closest thing to Shelly that's coming out later this month. And for you guys, it'll probably come out sometime in August. Uh, this is important because it gives you guys uh, the option to download the wallet early, see the ranking features for the stake pools, um, see some of the stake pools that you're maybe going to de delegate to, and it's also just the latest version of the Daedalus wallet that we've got to see thus far. And um, it's really important that we all download this wallet um, and essentially put a load on the network, but I do want to tell you guys that this is not real ADA uh, in any way. This is a test net. This is not for everyone. This is specifically for the kind of people that want to see the new wallet features and also want to help out Cardano by putting a load on the network and delegating to random stake pools. So let's jump into the video. The first thing you want to do is click the link in the description down below, and it's going to take you to this website right here. And you're going to download it for whatever version you're on, either Mac or Linux or Windows, and you're going to download that, and then you're going to open that .x file, .bin file, or .dot. OS X or whatever Mac is and the first thing you want to do is create a wallet like always we'll call this uh, wallet big pay and then we'll make a password for it it has to be 10 characters but remember this ADA has no real value it is just T ADA so it really doesn't matter and you guys can go ahead and steal this wallet if you want I do not care remember check out NordVPN um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I guess, pull this up to So we're just going to have to um, take a little snip of this so we can rewrite it. Remember, for mainnet, I do not recommend this. You need to take this key and you need to write it down somewhere safe. But as I said earlier, um, it's, it's not real ADA, so it doesn't actually matter. So we got super, suffer, same spirit and we have leave jeans floor so leave jeans floor and then we have set up begin reduce begin reduce test jar behind million loyal cool so that worked and then also i'm going to be doing uh, an ama slash live stream tonight at 5 p.m eastern standard time so if you guys would love to, uh, if you guys would make it to that, I would really appreciate it. But we're going to be going over some of the new Daedalus wallet features. So we got synced almost immediately, which is good. Um, and now we're going to have to pull that web page back up. And we're going to have to go to the faucet. Oh, I guess we got to actually get our address first. So let's go over here. have a bunch of addresses. Just go ahead and copy one of those. And then pull that back up. And then now once we're here, we just need to go to tools. And then faucet. And then you put that address right there. Confirm that you're not a robot. Pick all the taxis or the boats or the street lights that you see. Is that, is that a taxi right there? It's a little yellow. You know, we'll, uh, we'll skip this one. All right, cool. Request funds. Hopefully this will work. If not, I'll have to restart the entire video. Cool, success. So now that we got our ADA, it should come pretty quick because it is the Shelly test net and we are actually having stake pools complete our transactions. Let's wait for this data to come in, but while we're doing that, we can go look at some of these new Daedalus features. So obviously right here, this shows your current epoch and current slot, and it shows you the time until the next actual epoch. And this is pretty cool. Um, oh, we got our faucet ADA right there. Um, so currently, and this is why they have the days counter right here. Um, off the top of my head, I want to say that epochs on mainnet are five days long. Um, they could be six or seven, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say five. Um, but right now, during the test net, there are only six hours, so we can do some more quick testing, if you know what I mean, because every six hours... So, for example, we have 100,000 ADA in our wallet right now, and when we go over here and we delegate to a stake pool, our delegation's actually not going to start on the stake pool until the next, next epoch here in one hour. And that's going to actually happen on mainnet as well. So it's important to remember that for mainnet. But now that we're over at stake pools, 
Uh, the test net just came out, so you can see my pool's not up on here yet. I'm going to be doing that today after I upload this video. But you can see there's a lot of cool new Daedalus features. Uh, the first thing I see immediately is this little sliding bar right here. And this is where it uses slider to rank the stake pools based on the amount of ADA that you intend to delegate. Or select a wallet. Let's try that. Select a wallet. We'll do the big pay wallet. So look, it just brought that slider to 100,000. That's pretty cool. And then now we're starting to see this Daedalus ranking system, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, look, we can see our rank. We can see the relative stake. The pool margin, which is 5%, the pledge, which is 100k ADA, the cost per epoch, which is zero. They don't have any minimum set, apparently. And they've already produced 192 blocks thus far. And then we can go through and look at some of the other rankings. Look, we can see the difference. And like, let's, um, let's figure out why this pool is ranked ahead of the other pool. So this is rank number one. The relative stake is 2.14%. I wish that we had some sort of okay so here's here's my opinion I don't think we should say relative stake we should probably say the amount staked to the pool it's just my opinion I mean I'm sure we can use ADA pools for that but so the relative stakes 2.14 percent the pool margin is 5 percent the pledge is 100k ADA and the cost per epoch is zero like we went over so now let's check out the other one and see the difference so this one has more relative stake for sure. The rank is second. The pool margin is only 1%. The pledge is 350K, but the cost per epoch is 228. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the reason this one is ranked first is just because of that cost per epoch. And that's what I wanted. To, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video today is explain to you guys why this test net thing is important, why you need to be a part of it, because we need to put a load on the network to make sure Shelly is stable for all of us when the time comes. And this gives you guys a good way to see how the pools are ranked with actually no, no issues. So you guys can learn how to delegate to pools. You can learn how a delegation process works. You can see what Daedalus is going to look like with no risk. You're, I mean, when, when Shelly comes around, you're going to want to know what pool you want to delegate to. You're going to be wanting to figure it out because after you delegate, you're going to have to wait five to seven days or I think five days until the epoch changes. And then you'll finally be delegated. And then if you want to re-delegate to someone else, you're going to have to wait five more days. So you guys want to know how this ranking system works and know why people are first and know if, oh, if big pays down here at 33, these are actually really similar rewards. And that's what I kind of want too, is I want estimated rewards, in my opinion. I want to see an estimated rewards thing right here because if there is not much difference between one and 33, but one has three pools, but you want to decentralize more and go to a smaller pool that doesn't have as much ADA that pays you the same percentage, I feel that people should have the option to do that. And it should say how much you're going to be earning an estimate, is my guess. It should say an estimate of the rewards because obviously there is a hidden, a hidden estimate in here to do these rankings in general. So there should be an estimate to show, okay, if I delegate to the first pool and the 34th pool, there should be an estimate so because they're they're trying to make all state pools reach an equilibrium within that k value and what i mean by that is over time after a certain amount of epochs the pools are all going to want to be in this 150 k value so all of the pools within there and maybe even past 150 maybe even up to 250 are all going to be when within this equilibrium where they pay you about the same. So it would be good to know if one versus 62 pays me the same because maybe I want to decentralize the network more and stake with a smaller pool like Ramen by Kiwi Stake Pool, you know, or Aloha or all of these. Let's see if we can find Duck on here. You know, he's, he is my man. Can't, yeah, he's not on here yet. I'm sure he'll be getting his pool up today. We were kind of uncertain if this was the Genesis file that we were going to use. But we'll go ahead and support someone a little smaller. We'll go ahead with uh, Aloha. I lost them. I think they were 60 something. Yep, there they are, 68. So then we can delegate to this pool, go through the usual process. We'll use all of our ADA here. Yep, I've chose Aloha and it says, or select a list from all pools. So we're gonna choose that one because that's what we chose. Then we need to go ahead and type in that staking password that we made earlier.
So this is taking a little bit to delegate, but I'm sure it will be done soon. And also you can see that there is a 2% pull. So maybe 1% pull up their game and is charging 2% now, which is interesting. But I also want to mention at the end of this video while we're still here that um, these people, I mean, not these people in particular, but there are going to be some people um, within the Cardano ecosystem that do the, do this. They have low pledge and low pool margin, and and there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to at the same time say that that a lot of stake pool operators are putting more effort into the into building the ecosystem and building their stake pools, and they have more security and more infrastructure than these low cost pools. So just because a pool pays you the least does not mean that's the best place to stake. And I think a lot of people um, kind of misunderstand that. It's not all about money at the end of the day. It's about decentralization. It's about supporting the people that support the ecosystem that are going to further Cardano. It's about supporting people that will have the infrastructure that to build these, um, these second layer, the second layer stuff on top of the Cardano protocol. But yeah, that's the end of the video today. Um, hopefully I don't get as much hate on this one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.